Hi guys, and sorry for the climatic build up there, but this is just a basic tutorial on the five sector model and uh, Keynes's theory of the flow of money. If you're looking for the two sector model, then there is also a tutorial for this, and the link will be in the description box. Hi guys, and as you can see here, there is the uh, the five uh, section circular flow of income diagram and there are two sections at the top these are originally from the two sector model the households and the business firms and then Keynes expanded this and made a more in-depth version of the two sector model and made the five sector model and those three sectors added were the financial sector the one just below the orange box the government sector and then the overseas sector so this model is quite easy to understand so basically the arrows on the left, the three red arrows, show us money leaving the economy and then arrows on the right, pointing upwards towards the business firms, is showing money entering the economy. So the three main methods of money entering the economy are investors, um, as abbreviated to an I, and that can basically mean like countries such as China, where they give us loans and things like that. The second one down is known as expenditure on this graph, but it can also be referred to as government. And basically that means that the money that they're getting back through taxations and things like that. And the last one on the right is exports. And obviously uh, the country gets money by exporting goods. So say, uh, let's pretend we're Germany and we're selling cars to Italy. If we're selling those cars, Italy give us money, more money to our economy, mean more jobs, and so forth. Similarly, uh, the left-hand column is also quite easy to understand, and there are also three ways that money can leave the economy, such as the three ways money can enter the economy. And the first method of money leaving the economy is where people save. So if they're saving the money, they're not spending it in the circular flow, because that's what it's all about. If they're just saving the money in the bank, People aren't getting jobs, people aren't spending money, and so forth. And you can also use that in your exam and talk about unintended consequences of people saving. You know, like jobs, no jobs mean no food, etc. Also, the people lose the money through taxation. So, basically what this means is, is that if people are having their incomes taxed, then they won't have as much money, so the flow is also reduced. And lastly, money is left from the economy when things are imported. So say if I buy um, a gun from America then for £10, then I'm spending that £10 and then the gun's going to be sent to the American economy and then the money's leaving the British economy. Basically, when uh, money is inputted into the economy, this is known as injections. When money leaves this circular flow of um, income or money, then this is known as a leakage or sometimes referred to as a withdrawal. So basically you have to apply what you know with the five sector model to an equation and that equation is y equals c plus i plus g plus x minus m and if you didn't already know then I will go through the letters i equals investors, g equals government expenditure, x equals exports S equals savings, such as banks, T equals tax, and M equals imports. So you basically have to learn that um, equation and just sub in values, and it's all very, very easy. So for the few of you who have actually lasted five minutes into this tutorial, then thank you for watching, and please like my Facebook page, because you love multiplexing gamer tutorials so much, and you want to pass your A-level economics and get that A, then that's the tip. I'd say like my Facebook page because it's got stuff going down on there. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.